Hey everybody, welcome to video number three in the series about um, biogas at home. This one we're going to finally put the manure inside, um, get him set up and then play around with um, putting some heat into it to get the temperature up to actually finally, hopefully, produce some biogas. Um, if this is the first time uh, watching my videos, uh, welcome along. Um, please uh, subscribe and if you like the videos, give it a good thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think about in the comments as well. Um, always keen to improve and see how it's more engaging for everyone else. So yeah, let me know. But let's get into it and load up that poop. I'm going to make a, a lid for this. It needs to be able to obviously go round all these pipes. Luckily we haven't glued anything in so we can take these all off. This can come off of here. We put things on top of that. I've got loads of these little dowels which are conveniently the right size to fit inside here. So I'm going to put together a grid of these this way and that way and then use some old polystyrene that I salvaged to make a nice hopefully solid top for it. Once we've done that we can then fit everything back together. This is the incinerator, uh, so it's a waste disposal. Food goes in here and comes out here as a paste, I hope. So we're gonna go and get some food scraps, feed it in and see how we need to do it. See if it works, I guess. So let's go and do that. Now to load our pulp. Right, so I think that's probably about a third full now. So we need to fill it, rest up with water so it's above the um, level of the uh, outtake and then we'll slowly keep adding um, more food scraps to it. I'm not expecting great things. It's been freezing here recently, so we're not at any kind of temperature this needs. I'm getting a pond heater to um, increase the temperature to see what we're doing. But yeah, we'll uh, connect him all up and see how he does. It's time to fill the scrubbers. So we're gonna have water cat litter wire wool okay all in and sealed so i'm going to put the gas bag on this side of the um, digester this is more space and then i can set the line coming out from here to the digester down here so i'm just going to put down i've got some half pallets to put down to keep it off the floor and then we can connect them all up so let's do that So I got this um, gas bag from a supplier in China 
and so I'm going to test it out, see how good it is, and if it's any good, then I'll get a few more that I can, uh, I can sell to people. Um, they're pretty cost effective, we'll see how they go with the setup. Okay, so I've made, this is the uh, attachment to go onto here, um, and I've put this bit of gas line in here because it's 8mm gas line, actually this adapter is uh, half an inch, um, which is a bit too big, but I can stretch the gas line, I can't stretch this, this pipe, so I've just attached a little off on there, I mean I'm not going to use it, but just to, to attach the two together. So this goes onto here and then we'll bring it up to there. Make sure there's a little bit extra slack in the line. tea, well, hot water. Beautiful. Okay. So that's shrunk to that. So that should be fine. It's not, this is not pressurized at all, this line, so no need to worry too much and then it goes into the scrubbers hello everybody so this has been set up for about a week now and haven't the top's not on it still <clears throat> that's just being been made we'll see that in a second but let's have a look at the gas bag still flat there's zero gas in it <clears throat> not really surprising the temperature has been well, not very high. So, I've got this, a pond heater. So if we put a little bit of heat into there, see what gas we get out of it. Um, so it's 300 watts, so it's quite, quite powerful. Um, I guess once we get around to putting all of this together, we can actually see if it's worth heating it. If you get enough power back out of it but uh, for now let's just see if we can actually get it working by putting some power into it so let's get on and do that this is the heater um, it's a pretty impressive looking thing it's got a little preset up here so what we can do we put it at 20 degrees I can smell it already that kind of electric heater smell we're gonna put it I've taken the, the excess the um, yeah the effluent pipe out of there for now um, nothing to be coming out anytime soon so we'll stick we're gonna stick it in there and then we will wait and see if we get any gas coming out here later on I mean it's take a while to get this whole thing back up to, to anywhere near the right temperatures so probably be waiting till least the end of the day for this but let's uh, have a look Now we wait. In the meantime, we're going to finish the the top there, so that's all finished, and get that all sealed in. But I just wanted to get some gas production, so it might be not the most efficient way of doing it right now. But I just want to get some gas, really. So let's see what happens.
So I've drilled the holes and um, obviously I slightly got the measurements a little bit wrong but it's okay because it's polystyrene, you can cut it. Next is to um, cut some uprights here so we can then put these long ones put these long ones across all the way down. Also gonna put a couple of supports in here just so this is a bit stronger. There we should have a top that's functioning and we can um, get the heater in again and let it let it warm up properly finally. Back at the digester, the top is finished. So now I'm going to take all this stuff off, clean this up, and then put it all back on. And I'm going to take one of these gas lines off for now. Um, don't need to worry about sealing it up because it's into the water. It's essentially sealed anyway. Um, and then I'm going to put the heater in in this one here and. We're gonna let it go. After the <coughs> kind of attempts that I did the other day with the heater, I uh, decided that I should actually do some calculations as to how long it roughly should take because, um, yeah, it's probably best to know. And for this amount of liquid, well, I mean, we're talking water when I did the calculations, so I'm not sure how the thicker liquid will take. It will take about 21 hours to go from 10 degrees which I reckon it is at the moment, to 35 degrees. Um, the, amb the ambient temperature is about 12 or 13 at the moment, um, and it's been down to kind of freezing in the last few days. So I reckon I'm gonna say 10 degrees. <coughs> if we get six kilowatt hours to do that, um, which is it's quite a lot, but uh, that's gonna cost, if you're taking it off the national grid, that costs like a pound, so it's not that bad. Um, yeah, ideally we wouldn't be using power from the grid, um, and I, if depending how this goes, I've got, I've brought myself some temperature probes, um, so we can actually look at the temperature of this and see how it changes as we put in the heat, see what the the temperature curve is. Um, that's not quite ready to go yet, so I'm just going to do this, get up to 35 degrees, get some gas, and then we can start playing around with that, and then we can look at what the ambient temperature and how much heat we need to put in because if we need to do this all winter in terms of keep heating it up then it's not going to be viable um, then I'm going to look at using a rocket stove to, to heat up water and put it in kind of like a, a little warm water jacket but for now I'm gonna, I want to get some gas out of it because one because it's filling up with food and uh, we've got probably another week's worth of food uh, left space left in there before it starts coming out it hasn't digested yet so we need to start it get it digesting and then we can play around with it afterwards so let's get into it Here. This is our spare one. As I said, it's going into water, so it's essentially sealed. 
at the moment. So I'm just going to stash that onto the side. Right, we can hook this up and then we uh, wait and see. Fantastic. Okay, so he's all set up. Uh, let's give you a look around. So not much change back here. It's got a bit wetter and more covered in leaves. The pipe's going in there. And then we have the digester here. So the heater is going into here. And we have the scrubbers at the back there. I mean, it's this, this has turned out well. It's sitting really nicely on top of here. Um, no, it looks really neat. I just need to get something across there to make it look really neat. Um, but what I really want to get is to get some gas. Um, so let's leave the the heater in there. Um, obviously, the, like I said, the calculations say it should take 21 hours if this is water. This is more dense, so it'll probably take longer. So we'll see, really. See how long it takes. And hopefully uh, next week I can get this temperature probe up and running so we can actually see rather than having to guess by having a look at these we can actually see what the temperature is like then so that's coming up in the next video uh, temperature probe getting all that so we can see some nice nice graphs and then hopefully fingers crossed actually getting some gas we will see right see you in the next one